this, you remember that story about the shepherd who owned a flock of goats that gave the milk that provided a livelihood for his family. And he had three sons who tended that flock for him. The eldest was a lusty fellow who loved to ogle the girls in the marketplace. And the second son was acquisitive. He dreamt of being a rich man and he was somewhat of a hoarder, hoarding whatever it was that came into his possession. But the third son just had a longing for knowledge and he read every book that he could get his hands on, devouring information. But each day one of them would go out to tend the flock of goats. But it was noticed by each of them that every day one of the goats would disappear. The other goats would be grazing in the lush grass that they had found on the hillside. But one goat would disappear. They would hear the sound of her bell just tinkling and disappearing into the distance. But every day, as they were going back down the hill home, the goat would appear again with a full udder, and it was discovered that this milk from this goat was looked for by the people in the town. It seemed to have a special quality of healing and soothing and so forth. So between them, the family decided that they should explore where this goat went to during the daytime. So the eldest son said that he would do so. He would uh, follow uh, this goat to see where it went. So on that day, he followed the sound of the bell, which took him to the entrance to a cave, and uh, listening to the sound of the bell around the neck of the goat, he went into the darkness and followed the sound, but suddenly he came to an area in the cave where it seemed to be quite light, and there in front of him, somehow, this beautiful maiden appeared and she was naked. So, of course, his lustiness was aroused, his manhood was aroused, and he was just about to claim this maiden in an embrace. She disappeared. But by this time, so had the sound of the bell. So he did not know where the goat had gone. So he went back to his family and described what had happened to him. So the second son said, well, I will go. I will pursue the goat and I will see where she goes to. So the next day, the second son did the same, followed the sound of the bell and it led him to the cave and he went into the cave but he hadn't gone too far listening and following the sound when there in front of him it seemed that everywhere he looked there was gold. Oh, he couldn't wait. He gathered the gold up and put it in his pockets and his cloak. But by this time the sound of the bell had disappeared in the distance, but he found when he left the cave that all the gold was just illusory. It was gone. So again he went back to his family to describe what had happened to him, and the third son said, well, I'll go, I'll follow the goat. And the next day, this is what he did, listening to the sound. He followed the sound of the bell into the cave. But he too 
came to a place where there was an old man with a lectern standing there with a book opened on it. And uh, when the third son approached, the man said, Oh, come, come, I've just read this wonderful passage in this book. I'm sure you'll be interested to read it and talk about it. So the third son was going over to the old man to, to, to do just exactly what he said, to read this passage and maybe discuss it. But then he remembered, just as he remembered, he heard the faint sound of the bell. And he remembered. So quickly, thanking the old man, he followed the sound quickly. And eventually, that sound led him out of the opening of the cave and he found himself in a place that he had never seen before. Yes, the sounds, the smells, the sights were all the same. He could see the waving grass, he could smell the fruit on the trees. He could hear the birds. But nothing was the same when everything was the same. But it felt totally different. Peace, harmony. And as he became used to this. He thought to himself, I have to bring my family here into this place of harmony. And But when he tried to find the entrance to the cave, he could not do so. The aperture that would take him back could not be found. The goat was gone. There was no more bell to lead him or guide him. And as the story ends, he remains there still. But this story brings up several questions that need to be explored. What was or is the sound of that bell that did not, has not, allowed us to be seduced into life to become a this or a that, or fill, fulfill some mind aspiration. That sound, that bell, always drawing us back to bring us to a place where we recognize and know that we can't go back. Nothing will ever be the same again. The sights, the sounds, the smells might be the same, but the way they're experienced is totally different. It can never be the same. What is this bell? What is this thread? This permanency that has disallowed us from being seduced and where are we now? What is life 
for us as the growing recognition has come that we cannot go back. Perhaps over these coming days we can explore this as we need to to answer the questions Who am I and what do I do?